Oh no, that, that's I'm still locked in there, right? Wes. And that Carlos knows about jumping timelines. Wait a second, is he gonna talk Junpei out of this? Hold up. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just... Yeah, I can't skip this, well, so... not many people wanted to be friends. Oh, this is clever. All right. <laughs> I've arrived from the future, Carlos! To let you know. Uh, where? You okay? <laughs> is... Is this before the A-B game? What? Okay... <laughs> uh, should I keep going? Yeah. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch, crying, and apologizing over and over to them. How... How, how do you know that? I'm from the future. Did Akane tell you? No. Then... why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine. I guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No, wait! Something's weird. Hello, pot calling kettle. <laughs> Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Um, uh, Junpei? Carlos? Hey, Connie. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of different timelines. I need help. I think I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Although we've never oh, actually seen it be like this bright that... light before, so that's interesting. The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying the me here right now came from a different history? Well, your consciousness at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met using a car as a time machine. <laughs> no I wonder what, what you're referencing there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course I do. The high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yeah, what was that? Uh, Return yes, to the Past? the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him M. <laughs> now, according to the plot, Dancing he's that copyright. at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh. I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. But, did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Huh. Well, now that you mention it. Uh, I, I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. <laughs> Meaning, if someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. But why? <laughs> oh, that's why. The other type is where multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation. 
one of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, Isn't so that how Zelda back works? to the movie. First, let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder? Well, think about it. <laughs> this is a very uh, long explanation for this. M grew up in that fancy house. Let's call him M2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh? But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But... The only memories that M retained uh, are those of when he was poor. I'm curious so, if the Japanese the version also uses Back to the Future. M2 like, I wonder if that's popular enough in Japan that they can use it as an example, or if they do something M else. To save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know, Junpei. Next is the I'm, multiverse I'm hypothesis. <laughs> In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went? This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. That's depressing. What is? Uh, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of which scenario happens. Well, that's life. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally... He did. No. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. You save yourself in exchange for killing your other self. Yeah, makes sense. But wait, Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just sort of knew, too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it. Though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe... This is what your sister has. Now here's Maria the bill. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Huh. 
then she's like us. Yes. So but reverie syndrome is just Esper's out of control? In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can be found to control the ability, then she could recover. Well, I suppose from technically it. shifters are different from true? espers in this world. I see. That's good. Because I don't think Clover so can some shift. Hope for her. Hey, Carlos. Or at least it's not when likely you dove she can. into the fire to save your sister. You were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! Maria! Maria, is that you? Just stay there! I'm coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires. And which way would lead to my death? Oh, this this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? <laughs> what? There's really no reason to play the A-B game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick Ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. <laughs> um... It'll work! The three of us will definitely be able to do it! How is that a better solution? But only... if we find our lives in danger. Wait, what do you mean by danger? And Junpei's never been able to shift before, though, right? Am I crazy in this? He's an Esper, but he's not a shifter. The control panel has detected an error in the program. Main cord required to supply additional deuterium. Please quarantine or disconnect the control panel. <laughs> Carlos is like, Akane, are you fucking serious? Hey, uh, uh, Akane? Hmm? You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. But this this is absolutely nuts. Even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up... Do you plan on dying here then? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot you were like that. Completely insane? Yeah. Literally, we're just killing ourselves in a slightly different so, way. Where do we need to jump to? Um. Well. You you didn't consider that part? <laughs> well, if we knew in advance, the effect of the threat would be lessened. You're not affected by any of this at all, are you? That's not true. Here, look. My heart's pounding so fast. Do you want to check it? <laughs> uh, Uh, hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. Ah, shit! Okay, uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Jump to the same history I am. The same history? <laughs> Which one? You got to be a little more specific. There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. Oh my god, we're going back right to the after dice. That. So we can die there. Are Good. you insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed. It's okay. I have a plan. Oh, you do. Until detonation. Oh, this this All better right. be a good fucking plan. I trust you, Junpei. Ah, damn it, Junpei! If we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, um, how do we go? Do we like do we say a phrase or? Hooray! Alright, let's 
Let's head on over to the dice, shall we? Yep, no, we don't have a choice. We have to go over to the dice. Wait, 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 wait! That one doesn't count! Oh, uh, um, I, uh, uh... Your hand slipped! That was it, right? Yeah, hey, remember when said. we fucked up all that time uh, ago? You, you wouldn't mind a little do-over, right? Zero? We have arrived! And those guys suddenly wound up in an exploding reactor, and they're probably very confused right now. D did it work? But this is... Yeah, uh, Junpei, your plan, please? Hurry, Junpei, what was your idea? Yeah, um, right. First. <gasps> what? What the hell? <laughs> Carlos, put Akane in the fireplace. What? Just do it. Uh, Junpei, what are you? Akane, listen to me. Carlos and I are going to be your shield wall. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Even Carlos is like the fuck. Shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. But, but if you do that. It's okay. Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and die. The fuck? Don't worry, <laughs> it'll be fine. Before we die, we just need to shift to another history. Once you hear all of the X passes, Akane, you should follow right away. The, the X passes? In this history, five are already dead. Five's the only other one alive. Man, those guns that are taking their sweet five time. X passes will be revealed. If Carlos's and mine are added to that, then there'll be seven. No! Damn it, Junpei! What the hell is this plan? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, dude. help, right? God damn it! <laughs> this has been unintentionally Please. hilarious. I love it. Don't do this! We, we can't go back now. This is the only way. Where are we jumping? To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's I don't know, that was a minuscule history, man. No matter what. I'm counting. There's a lot more histories where we no! fucked up. No, 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 no! God, bullets hurt. Why? Now announcing the current casualties. Cutie, Q, Mira, Eric, D team, Diana, Sigma, C team, Carlos. These seven are now deceased. As a result, seven X passes will be revealed. I kill fool moon fate save doll. Moon fate save doll. That is all. Yeah, get to jumping, Akane. We need to move. You're horrible, Junpei. Well, I should go now. Oh, you can just do it. Okay. <laughs> Who needs the fear of death? You can just do it. Geronimo. Alright. Let's go. x pass is gotten. What in the world were you thinking? 
What is your problem? Look, the three of us shifted just fine, so what's the big deal? It's not okay! Uh, we did get seven X passes at least. Not you too, Carlos. I can't believe you! You always were like that, weren't you, Junpei? When we were in sixth grade, you faced those rabbit-killing middle school kids alone. There were probably other ways of handling it, but you rushed right in. Even the shifting. It's okay because it worked, but what if I was left behind there? Well, well we had I, enough uh, X-passes to get out. You could escape alone then, or, or something. But that way of thinking is completely wrong. Being the sole survivor does not make me happy. There's no point in living once you lose the one you care about the most. Uh, Akane. <laughs> I'll just leave you two to your... <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I never meant to ever cause you pain like that. What's that? Well, um, remember back in elementary school, your dream was to wear a ring on your left hand? So... What's the matter? It's just a cheap candy ring I got from a vending machine. It's not a big deal. Thank you. Thank you so much. But... You know this is my right hand, don't you? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, uh, you're right. It um, it it looked like the left from from my side. So, uh... <laughs> that's just like you, Junpei. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll move it to the correct finger later. Hmm. <laughs> I'll do it officially after we escape from here. And you, how do you I ever understand. take care of a kid? So, until then, I'll leave an empty spot open. <laughs> it's been put on reserve. Okay, guys, this is sweet and all, but Zero's about to call time on us soon, I'm sure. Akane, do you remember the X-Passes for Junpei and me? Yes. Normally, when someone shifts, they forget the memories from the last timeline. But I'm used to it. It's all there. But wait, hold on. Carlos and I remember what happened before, too. Huh. I think the memories were strengthened due to the resonance effect. Those with the ability to shift... Oh, there are three of us here, so... But... I wonder why. Why have three shifters gathered in a place like this? Doesn't really seem like a coincidence. Well, we got two more over uh, in a G true. Ward. Even if we really are seeing more shifters in the world, the probability... Wait. The numbers are increasing? Mankind is about to face an unprecedented crisis. Oh, as it stands now, we'll lose six billion lives. I assume mankind has sensed that and is adapting. Even though it's, in reality, only a small portion. There's no way there are tens of thousands of shifters. Then it's definitely on purpose. But we signed up for DCOM of our own free will. Wait a minute. In this timeline? Maybe we just think that. And in actuality, 
We did exactly what Zero wanted? It's highly possible. Ah, damn. What is that bastard thinking? Wasn't it because he needed us to shift? Why would that be important? Well, it was important in the last game. It'll all be over once we get out of here anyway. You're right. We couldn't care less what Zero has planned at this point. We need six X passes. We know five of them already, so one more. Akane, tell us one of the other X passes. It's save. Yeah, well, fine. That was gonna be cheeky. Hey, what the hell? Wait, wait. Is the X pass wrong somehow? Th that can't be. Yeah, let's try the other one too. Akane. Ah, uh, it's doll. What the? Those Boy. passes haven't been officially revealed. But why? You can't use them. X passes are sent to their respective histories. X passes from alternate timelines are not applicable. Did all this for nothing. Wh what? No. Is hilarious. How perfect. He knew someone would try this. Why, why did we even struggle through all of that just now? Those guns turned my body into Swiss cheese. And you're telling me that it was all for nothing. All we did was die in vain. Yeah. Whoops. So just one person needs to die. What? Just just one more person, and Akane and Carlos can... Junpei. You! Wait, Junpei! Hey! <laughs> oh, hi. Sean 592, Whoa. I take it. Junpei! Uh, you are... Penalty. Penalty. You are charged with a rule violation. That means you must be punished. B punished? Time to exterminate. Exterminate? Uh... Damn! Ah, oh, damn it, he's so strong. Any more of those punches and... This is... That... that was cute. Aha, I have the what? flash step. How? <laughs> Did I see Q -team? Damn it, no hold matter. still. I gotta do something. If I die now, uh, Junpei and Akane. Think. I gotta think. Uh, there must be a way. Some way to survive this situation. Ah, uh, there has to be. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Oh, God. That's it! Shift! I could shift! There's no way I'm leaving Junpei and Akane behind. I'll come up with a plan in another history and jump right back. <laughs> uh, where just do like I how... go? 
Just Which like how I've been doing it. Should I jump to? Damn it! I don't have time to think. Just jump Damn. somewhere. Oh god. Really? Of all the timelines you could have jumped to, of all the fucking timelines you could have jumped to. Really? Junpei. I'm sorry. I couldn't avenge you. Akane? Oh god, why did I come here? What was I thinking? I I just killed... <laughs> and then this Carlos is gonna suddenly get punched to death by a Q-Bot. Man, life is cruel, isn't it? Of all the fucking timelines, though, he came back to this one. No. Why is Akane? Oh yeah, I did that. Whoops. This is the history where Akane was killed. I I killed her. No, I didn't kill her. The one who did was me from this history. <laughs> Way to dodge the blame. Oh, this can't be kept like this. I need to do something at least. Gotta cauterize this wound. The anesthetic worked somehow. The pain's dulled. How long it'll last. Regardless, who was that kid? I have to figure out who he is somehow. Yeah, there's one more thing I need to do. You know, we're following a pretty linear story now. This doesn't feel like the same game I've been playing. <laughs> that vision I saw, I have to tell Q Team. I'm counting on you, Gab. Don't mind the blood, boy. Now then, what's left is figuring out who that kid is. He might have been the one who killed Junpei in this history. Because Junpei violated a rule? Hmm. It's an interesting idea. So I'm gonna assume something new happened in Q Team. I choose this one. Maybe he'll think to check Gab. Or maybe not. Fuck. You can enter that? Oh my god, please. You're not even making fucking sense! <laughs> you could probably just enter whatever there and that'll be the result. Okay. Now... Dude, look at the portrait. That's what the letter told me to do, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> How am I gonna check the gab letter? I don't have anywhere to go. You're not um... Alright, I'm confused. You got me, game. I don't know. How are we supposed to check... Because this is the timeline where it ends up. I'm 
unless we can figure out who killed Mira somehow. Oh, we would have to check. What the fuck? What what do we do? I could I could just keep brute force guessing who killed Mira, but I mean that's about all I got though. All right, let's just keep going, I guess. Because again, this is the timeline where Carlos sent the letter. Who killed me? It was Junpei. No one from Ward C is here! Damn. I'll keep going, man. I'll keep going. What is it? Junpei, Kane, Sigma, Phi. Clearly it was Diana. How could someone who's already... I mean, I don't know. <sighs> Eric, I can keep guessing all day, man. saving. <sighs> Bro, listen to me. She has a virus, right? Hesitate for that split second just in case he says something new. Alright, you got me, Eric. I did it. Well, that's clearly impossible. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric, what did you say? It's clearly impossible that I did it, even though you're accusing me of doing it? Okay. I don't understand your logic there, Eric. I said, John, how do you know my name? <laughs> what? what the fuck is happening? Oh. 
I have tried everything I can possibly think of there. I've got nothing. I've got a fat lot of fucking nothing. Oh, what the fuck am I missing? There's something obvious, though, right? Bro, everybody killed Mira. We were all in on it. You're not even making. <laughs> what the fuck, though? Q says that's not even. Q makes him say that's not even possible. Sean makes him say, I know it was you. Nothing makes sense here. Ah. Oh.